Tonight, police say they are looking for a town square stabbing suspect after making arrests over the weekend for the unrelated Spinard homicide and another stabbing in Mountain View involving teenagers. Lauren Maxwell tells us what she's learned today live from the newsroom. Well, Rebecca, the town square park stabbing where police say they're still looking for a suspect happened in the heart of downtown where so many of us go. That area has been the subject of debate over a growing homeless population. And while police have not said yet if that involved homeless people, Mayor Bronson indicated that was the case. It's pretty upsetting finding out that somebody got stabbed out here the other day. An upsetting weekend for Richard Zeigler, who goes by Ziggy. He and his dog are regulars at Town Square. In fact, he painted these designs to improve things here. He says he finds it disturbing something like this could happen in such a public place. Yes, it is. I mean, there's no reason for, uh, for us to be stabbing and killing one another. At the same time, police say they've made an arrest for a separate Mountain View stabbing, where both the suspect and the victim are teenagers. And in a third incident in Spinard, arrested and charged 28-year-old Tirza Hayes with second-degree murder after court documents say she shot her neighbor after she and her husband had fought with the man and tensions had been simmering for a while. The violence is no surprise to Suki Miller. These increasing levels of violence affect everybody. The director of the nonprofit Victims for Justice says their caseloads are up. When asked if there's a way to create safer communities, she says that's up to all of us. You might be okay, but if you're not helping take care of your neighbor and making sure that your neighbor's okay, that will impact you. Um, violence doesn't happen in a vacuum. Now, we did check with police this morning who say to their knowledge, both of the stabbing victims were still alive. And Lauren, any sense of whether violent crime is actually up in Anchorage? Well, Rebecca, when it comes to homicides, we do have numbers from the Anchorage police. They say in 2022, the number of homicides in Anchorage was 28. In 2023, there were 23. And so far this year, there have been 10.